I'm Jack Freestone and I'm from the Gold Coast, Australia. It's always hard leaving my family, um, especially when we've got legs like this, but it's definitely, and everyone else can understand this as a parent, it's the most rewarding thing in the world. Yeah, we travel probably like 80% of the time. It's just the long hauls that, uh, that it's just kind of hard trying to you know, navigate around bringing a child with us. Uh, so yeah, it's about 80% of the time. This event alone, the Bolito Pro, has helped me so much. It's like, <clears throat> not only is it my favorite event of the year, it's probably the most sentimental to me because it's given me the opportunity, I think back in, I want to say 2014, I, I wasn't even in the primes and I, I think I got a wild card here. And I got a fifth and it just projected me into, you know, a really crazy momentum kind of uh, ordeal. And the next year I ended up qualifying and I believe it's all from this event. So um, it means a lot to me. And basically the, the whole philosophy of this event, especially heading into J-Bay, is just putting your time in in the water with a ration. Just getting comfortable with the feelings and that's it basically, and, and, and just surf in fun ways too. I think one of the most amazing resources that humans have, and uh, not only humans, just all species of life is the ocean. Um, and sentimentally, it means a lot to me as well. So preserving it as much as we physically can for future generations is, is the most important thing in the world. Us as surfers, we're quite conscious of it and we don't throw a piece of plastic on the ground because we'll know they'll end up in the ocean. And it's just hard to see that so much of, of our population don't really care or, or don't really know how harmful it is to the ocean. Pollution, it's really bad everywhere and in the sea it's even worse because there is all the fish eating this and dying, so yeah, I think the plastic, it's a big thing to try to stop it. We can, everybody can do this, so I think it's pretty important everybody try to stop a little bit the plastic. That's a big point already. Oh, it's, it's one of the most important things in the world. I mean, obviously, human beings, we've you know, pretty much trashed, um, you know, our, our oceans and, you know, the world. And, uh, you know, it's really important for us to take a step back and, you know, every little thing counts, like just the single use of, you know, not using single use plastic is just such a big thing. Plastic is just destroying our oceans and our marine life and everything. And yeah, it's something that I've just really been trying to work on as well for myself. Cause you know, it just starts with you, honestly, like just not using straws or not, you know, getting a hydro flask or any kind of flask where you can just refill and go into refill stations, it's insane. And, um, you know, especially at the, re uh, the airports now, like if you travel with, you know, a hydro flask or whatever, any kind of flask, you can fill up and you don't have to spend $6 for a plastic water bottle that you're only gonna use once. And not only are you saving money, but you know, you're helping the world too. So uh, on our oceans and, you know, it's gotten to the point where it's extreme that we, we do something and, uh, you know, it starts with you. It starts with me, <laughs> you know, that's where it starts. And if everyone does something, it, it's gonna help, so. Why can't we do the fix it? Uh, educate people and 
I don't know, there's a bunch of cool projects, you know, around the world that we could, you know, we could recycle, we could, I don't know, go after those those projects, those people that are really thinking about, thinking about the, the planet Earth and support them, you know? There's a lot of things we can do. There's a lot of things. Uh, just being more inventor, environmentally uh, aware of what you're using. I myself, I'm a vegetarian, I live plant-based. Uh, I feel like ethically I think it's one of the most important things for the environment. Um, and that's the reason I am an, uh, a, a, a vegetarian, is because I, I feel like I'm doing my, I'm trying to do the most I physically can to preserve it for um, my children and their children and just future generations to come.